San Francisco's Castro District will be home to some new bars for the first time in more than 30 years. KTV's Christian Kafton live tonight in the Castro. And Christian, the Board of Supervisors here with a big vote overturning a rule that had banned any new bars there right in the neighborhood. Yeah, that's right. The supervisor for this district is hoping that by rolling back those rules, it will now allow new bars, new businesses to flourish, and they'll take up empty storefronts like this one. San Francisco's Castro District is known for its nightlife, but over the years, the number of bars in the area has dwindled to fewer than 10. Supervisor Raphael Mandelman said a woman looking to open a new piano bar in the area ran into legislation from 1987, preventing the opening of new bars in the Castro. So Mandelman proposed changing the rules, which the Board of Supervisors has now unanimously approved. It's simply the opportunity for someone like this woman who wanted to open the piano bar to to come to the community and say, you know, I'd like to do this. I think it would be, it would contribute. And can I have your support to do that? And now there's a path for her or people like her who might want to open those spaces. The supervisor said the hope is to allow new businesses to flourish, bringing in tax revenue, employing people in the area and creating a nightlife destination. Tourism is critically important to us. Entertainment and nightlife is, are critically important to our, to our future. And I think this helps a little bit position the Castro for a renaissance. Ben Blyman from the city's Bar Owner Alliance says over the last decade, there's been a growing realization of the importance of the city's nightlife scene. He says it draws billions of dollars, and opening new bars in the Castro could be a part of the key to getting the city's economy roaring again. It's another thriving business that people go to or they feel a sense of community in their neighborhood and it provides a ton of jobs. And so right now in the Castro absolutely needs more bars. In the Castro, residents and visitors alike say they'd like to see more bars as a way to reawaken the city's nightlife. Yeah, I think it's great. Um, a lot of places have closed during COVID, so um, it'd be nice to see the neighborhood become more lively like it was before COVID. I really wish like the summertime like they would reopen so I can go back to dancing. Now the idea here is not to open wall-to-wall -wall bars in the Castro. There are still rules in place. Any new bar would have to have a conditional use permit, meaning they'd be subject to review and neighborhood input. We're live in San Francisco in the Castro District. Christian Kafton, KTVU. Fox 2 News. And Christian, when it comes to a timeline, I mean, if someone were interested in opening up a business, there are bars specifically, could they get it going, you know, by March, April here? Uh, I don't know exactly how long that timeline would be, Mike, but okay. we do know that there was that lady who wanted to start a, uh, a, a piano bar right here. And I talked to the supervisor and he said that that process can get underway essentially right away. She can start filing for the uh, permits and whatever she needs to start her business and open perhaps a new piano bar right here in the Castro. There you go. Get the economy roaring back. All right, Christian Captain, live in the city. Christian, thank you.